everyone, welcome back to the Geordie View. And Newcastle United have five wins in a row now. The second time we've done it in the Premier League this season. We came from behind to beat Brentford 2-1. And that's three wins in six days. Uh, fantastic. You know, we're beating Manchester United 2-0. We're beating West Ham 5-1. And now we're beating Brentford 2-1. Coming from behind to... Uh, and, uh, yeah, we are definitely closing in on uh, European football for uh, next season. But um, looking at our starting eleven, uh, Alan St. Maximin wasn't, uh, well, he was injured, so he wasn't included. He's got a hamstring injury, but hopefully he won't be out for too long. Um, so, uh, Joel Linton, sorry, Joel Willett came in for him and had Joel Linton out wide. Um... Joe Willett came, sorry, uh, Isaac came back into the start of them despite Wilson's two goals on um, Wednesday night. Uh, but uh, to be fair, Wilson definitely made an impact off the bench uh, when he came on in the second half. Um, being honest with the first half, we weren't at the races. Uh, Brentford had a goal disallowed so early on. It was a ball in, uh, was, I think it was uh, Pontus Janssen's header, parried out by Pope, and then Tony put the rebound in. Uh, but the replay showed it was um, he was offside, so VAR chalked it off. But then Brentford got a penalty, great work. Um, I can't remember who it was, who um, just a done shot for Pierce, and then Botman, poor chance from him. It's a definite penalty, no complaints there. But Tony stepped up, um, and for the first time in about 10 years, from what I heard, uh, had a penalty, failed to score a penalty. It was a shotting penalty from him, because he's much better than that, as we went, would see later on. Pope um, obviously got down, dived the right way, saved it. Um, but then Brentford got another penalty. I think he's that caught on their players. Um, now we'd probably appeal for a penalty because there's been a lot of debate on the, of talk about this. Should uh, VAR have got involved, I think we would have appealed for a penalty if it was the other way around. But um, the issue we've got VAR is, you know, it was supposed to be for clear and obvious, and if that's the case, they should be. I mean, yes, get the referee to look at the monitor for like fouls and not and uh, handballs, or even if um, the Players kick the ball out of two goalkeepers' two hands. Um, like we had um, last year when uh, Bruno had his first goal against Leicester given to him when it was originally uh, when they originally thought uh, would kick it out of Schweinkel's hands. But um, yeah, the ref looked at the monitor. He gave the penalty, and um, it shouldn't have taken that long, really. But uh, Tony, he stepped up. Much better to penalty from him. Uh, Pope did dive the right. He went the same way. Pope did dive the right way, but uh, Tony put a lot more power into it and inevitably got a goal. Three goals he scored against us since he left the club. And he just a bit depressed going into half time. I mean, fair enough. I mean, every team has off days, but I think it was more having the lad who we got rid of um, about four years ago, uh, scoring passes again. Um. So, um, half time, anyhow, must have given them lads a kick off the backside. I mean, and then the, the substitutes, Andy K. Gordon and um, Callum Wilson coming on for uh, Murphy and uh, Longstaff. And we were much better, second half. Uh, the equalising goal, um, Joel Linton did well. He uh, turned past me and, um, well, he did me. There and um, he uh, put the ball across and um, it went in off uh, rear. It went down as an own goal, which, to be fair, it was an own goal looking at the replay. So um, we got level there and then we got ourselves in front. Not uh, so long afterwards, Wilson gives it to uh, Isaac. That's a beautiful finish from him. You know that. Uh, he dinked uh, Fabianski the other night and it was a cracking finish and he just put it into the top corner to give us the 2-1 lead. Um, we did have chance, 
So towards the end, uh, well, Tony had a header saved well by uh, Pope in the uh, 80th minute. Uh, we could have actually had a 3-1. This was definitely harsh on us. Um, I think it was a corner ball. Botman headed to uh, Port Wilson. He put it in for 3-1. But VAR just had a bad ball. Again, I don't think that's clear and obvious. Um, and um, really, as I said, like handballs, get the referee to have a look at it himself. Because he's the one in charge. You know, the guys at Stockley Park should not be re-refereeing games. I mean, I've seen match of the day. It was definitely worse at um, Tottenham against Brighton. I mean, Brighton definitely got robbed in that game. You know, well, Wex this last goal. The fact they had one or two penalty, stole more penalties turned down. Um, but um, yeah, I don't think. I mean, it doesn't really matter too much the Wilson one because we won the game. But if we had, if Brentford had equalised, then or if we were chasing the game then there definitely would have been more debate on that. Um, Wilson did play in Anderson, who came on. Anderson had the shot um, saved by Rhea. Probably could have done better. That would have killed it off and given him his first Premier League goal after what happened at uh, Forest last month. But uh, it doesn't really matter. We've got the win. And um, if we're looking at the uh, Premier League table... It's kind of as you were, really. We are still third above Man United on goal difference because they beat Everton. And three points above Tottenham because they won against Brighton. But they were lucky too, to be fair. And uh, just onwards and upwards. Villa is going to be a hard game next week. They are brain form under Unai Emery. Um, I would have definitely taken him when he was interested in the job before Eddie Howe um, came in. And uh, it's definitely going to be a much harder game than when we beat them 4-0 at St James's Park. Of course, he actually wasn't able to manage that game because of work permit stuff, I think it was. But they're definitely going to give us a... I'm looking forward to one, but it will definitely be a tricky game. I'll probably... You know what it is? I wouldn't mind a draw. Maybe it's there if the run's going to come to an end. And then, um, of course, we've got Tottenham at home after that. Anyway... Uh, let us know what you thought of the game, what you thought of the VAR over the weekend. Um, and um, don't forget to hit like on the video, subscribe to my channel, check out my social media pages in the description below. Uh, thanks for watching the video, I hope you've enjoyed uh, what I've had to say and uh, I'll see you later.